How much is it worth for a hundred dollars? Do you believe a hundred dollars can be more than a hundred dollars? Yes. yes. Toastmasters of the meeting, fellow members, and most welcome guests. When I was a kid, I spent most of my childhood with my grandma, and she always gave me a hundred dollars every day for allowance. And I always held her wrinkled hands with joy. But as a kid, I didn't know how to use my money well. And I always spent it out on cookies, candies, and toys. My grandma noticed, and she came to me and said, Hey, little boy, do you believe a hundred dollars can be more than a hundred dollars? She looked at my doubtful face, turned a hundred dollars like this. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. By a 75-year-old lady, I didn't even know how she did that. She knew she drew my attention and brought me to the market and gave a hundred dollars to the people who are in need, handicapped or in poor. And she said, See, a hundred dollars can be more, just like people, if you do the right thing on the right way. And you can do much more than your imagination. A small trick brought a philosophy. Even the young kids can understand. And also, every time I got a hundred dollars from her, I would check out if I can get more. <laughs> A few years later, as a teenager, I didn't behave very well. I did lots of rebellious things, like skipping class, playing video games, and hanging out with friends at night. My grandma noticed, but she didn't know what to do. She was just an old lady, hoping her grandson to be safe and peaceful. One night, while I was going out with my friends, she gave me a hundred dollars and said, Little boy, remember, a hundred dollars can be more, and I'm sure you can do much more than that. My friends sneered at me and said, You took the money from your grandma? You are such a brat, little boy. I felt so embarrassed, and I took the money, shook off her hand, and ran away. I can still remember her disappointed eyes, gray and white hairs, and a trembling, wrinkled hand. After that, she only put $100 in a closet. Every time, I went to the closet to take the money. I knew she worried about me. But I just pretended that everything was okay and turned my eyes blind. At the end of my junior high school, she got sick seriously and stayed in hospital. Then my conscience, like a thunder, hit on my head. Why did I hurt my grandma so much? Is this I really wanted? Why should I put myself like this? Then I decided not to break her heart anymore. I determined myself to bring back what I've lost in the past years. And I studied hard in the library at daytime I stayed with her in that hospital at night. After fighting for three months, hanging on day and night, I got a good grade and entered the Taichung First Senior High School. I went to the hospital to tell her this good news, but she couldn't talk anymore. I held her hand still wrinkled, but cold 
as giving. I want to tell her what I've done and how I've changed, but she couldn't answer me anymore. There are too many things to do, too many words to say, but the only things left were regret and sorrow. Recently, I went to my hometown got together with my family, and we talked about so many beautiful times, including my grandma. Then, I remember there must be something still in the closet. I opened the closet and find out a hundred dollars was still there. I will not only put it right here, I'm going to put it right here. It always reminds me that money can be more than money, and I can do more than I can do, and the love from my grandma. How much is it cost for a hundred dollars? Postmaster of the meeting, 